some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Tuscaloosa, Alabama with Looney Lana as this uh, insane in the membrane frauditor attempts to audit the local post office once again. Apparently, it was a failed audit, and uh, Looney Lana ended up getting kicked out the last time. Well, is it any different this time? Well, spoiler alert, no, it's not. Looney Lana ends up, well, finding out the hard way that you can be trespassed from but just about any piece of property. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Welcome back to the J-Town Press. We're back today in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. And if you guys remember what happened to us last time. You leave with your cameras. Whoa, 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 don't cause a disturbance, sir. Step away from me, please. Ma'am, can you step back from the counter, please? This is a counter to conduct business. Yeah, You're conducting not, business. You are not. Yeah. Step back from the counter, please. So if I don't leave right now, I'll be arrested. That's as you Okay. So in other words, uh, you were so upset by the uh, process that took place last time of you getting booted off the property that you're uh, retaliating against this very same post office uh, so you could, what, uh, experience it again? You know, instead of being a masochist, you should have at least tried my uh, butthurt cream out and uh, spread the word about it. I mean, it's a good product. That's what the elves tell me. But then again, these elves that I deal with are low, down, rotten, dirty scumbags, much like you. Oh, wow. Look at this place. I love that. See that? All the spatial content with the uh, sunlight and stuff. Isn't that cool? Look at all the marble and stuff in the background. Isn't that cool? Isn't that good? They have all the stamps and whatnot. Look at that. All the old stamps, look at all that. Isn't that cool? Look, he's got the... See the PTA, Parent Teacher Association? We can't do any transactions up here if you're videotaping. Oh, well, you're, you're videotaping. Yeah, but uh, uh, they they got their financial information. Oh, I'm, I'm not trying to get her financial information. Maybe I was behind her. I'm, yeah, I was filming the stamps. Okay. Well, yeah, I'm not here for her. Yeah, I'm here for the stamps. But you're See, right out of the gate, you gotta lie about the reason why you're here. You made it quite clear in your intro that uh, you were extremely butthurt about being kicked out the last time, so you decided to try it again. So it's most certainly not about the stamps. Quit lying, you lame brain frauditor. Yeah, what? I've, it's it's part of poster seven. I'm I'm allowed in here to record, so. Okay, good. Yeah. Not me. I don't. Want uh, seriously, Alana, did you really just screw up and uh, put the recording uh, clause of poster seven on the screen? You do realize that's a big no-no, right? I mean, it says right there at the end of the paragraph that you need permission. Please, Lana, don't stop with the stupidity. You're only making my job easier here. Well, you never would have been on camera if you wouldn't have opened your mouth. So. Well, yeah, well, you're on camera too. You got one, two, three, four different cameras. But you're in, you're in public, ma'am. So you don't need permission. You're in public. There's no privacy. I never pointed the camera until you opened your mouth. I was filming the stamps. I, I can speak however I want. It's called freedom of speech. That's freedom of speech. You can have freedom of speech without disrespect. Well, that's subjective. It's not objective. It's subjective. Subjective means your opinion. It's not being respectful. Well, that's your opinion. That's not my opinion. Well, then don't talk to me then. I don't need to not talk to you. Don't film me. Same difference. Well, I'm going to keep filming now. I can do it as long as I'd like, man. I can keep filming you. I mean, okay. if you're going to keep acting like a fool, then I'm going to keep you on camera. How am I acting like a fool? You're, the way you're acting. So now you're that, that's subjective. My opinion is so subjective. I'm sir. Sorry. Okay. See, Edgar Lee Masters, Hotel, West Virginia. Hello? Duck. If you would, don't record. Oh, no, I am. Yeah, just the public areas. Pardon me? Just the public areas. He didn't do She's got her credit card and stuff, and you can't be recorded. Yeah, I'm, I'm not recording her credit card information. Well, we don't know that. I don't know that you're not. Yeah, Lana, they don't know if you're zooming in or not or anything like that. I mean, you're uh, acting like a spoiled, petulant, little uh, whiny 
pissant frauder right now that you can't see the argument that they uh, are trying to present to you. They're trying to prevent identity theft. They're trying to prevent their customers from potentially losing uh, their money out of their accounts because of dickwads like you who will film transactions and uh, will post it on the internet as other frauders have done in the past. They don't care if it's their money being lost as long as they get their money from YouTube. What are you going to use this film footage for? You're recording me. Security. Oh, well, this is my for my security. She was kind of hostile. I, I might need it. How am I being hostile? I, I was talking to her. I was talking to her. Who are you talking to? Because this is security risk. How is it a security risk? It's a security ma'am, risk. Don't somebody... need to call nine one one because for a camera. Have you read your rules and regulations, ma'am? Can you refer to your rules and regulations? This is for news purposes. I'm gathering content for a story. Yeah. Are you the supervisor? And you haven't been briefed on the uh, rules and regulations governing conduct on postal property? Yeah. I depend on what version it is. It's a look under news and photo. You know, it's under photographs. It says photographs is the first word. And it's for news purposes. Oh, quote mining. Oh, another dishonest tactic of the frauditors. Only reading certain parts of the paragraph that uh, suit their needs. So you're not going to talk about the other parts of the paragraph that uh, give the specific locations of this issue and uh, what it says at the end that uh, you need permission from the postmaster or the po installation head. I mean, uh, you're not going to do that? Okay. Suit yourself and enjoy your trespass. You can't do that. Well, I'm going to continue, so as soon as I'm done, I'll leave. 911. I mean, 911 for a camera? Wow, so that's, this is an emergency. Think about that. This is an emergency? A GoPro is an emergency? I was quietly recording the, the postal stamps here that you have displayed. A little longer than a few minutes later. That's for you. <laughs> How you doing, sir? I'm fine, good. That, that's that's my running joke. I said when I hear it ran, I said, that's for you. <laughs> now I'm going to pause it here for a second. I want you to remember this officer all the way through the entire encounter, and I want you to watch his body language. Tell me what you think in the comments down below. Good guy or bad guy? Oh, gee, Lana. You want everybody to pay attention to his body language? Uh, yeah. How about we pay attention to everything that you're saying in this uh, video? So comment down below uh, whether or not you think uh, Lana is an antagonistic jackass or if they are just a dumbass. Hey, what's your name, sir? My name, Officer Quinn. Quinn, do you have a badge number, sir? Badge number? Yes, sir. 244. Okay, perfect. Do you have your body cam on by chance? Absolutely. Okay, thank you. I just want to make sure. Some people forget, so. Yeah. Okay. Are you safe? I I'm for news purposes, yeah. I'm just, just, just gathering content for a story and just in the public areas. I'm not hopping over the counter going in the restricted areas, something like that. Just strictly public areas. Just like in a city hall or inside your lobby or your police department, same thing. So they actually have rules and regulations here. Uh, I didn't see where it was posted, but it's called uh, um, conduct, you know, rules and regulations governing conduct on postal property. So I'm gathering news if you want to refer to that. So I don't think they've been educated about it. So unfortunately, oh, okay. yeah. Okay. You want to talk out here? Yeah, yeah sure. Yeah. yeah. I'll, yep. I guess go out the exit. <laughs> and we can look for the uh, postal regulations here. I usually look for it, but uh, it's usually on a poster board. So it doesn't matter if they have an issue with it. This is, I mean, it's a constitutionally protected activity. I mean, it's freedom of press. I mean, it's very basic. Yeah, we all have heard the uh, same old argument that you give that it's freedom of the press. Man, you how you believe that uh, freedom of the press gives you more rights than everybody else. I mean, you have pretty much stated that. I mean, that's not taking you out of context. You've actually stated that. Now, Looney Lana continues the same spiel with this officer throughout the video until, uh, well, the inevitable happens. So let's go ahead and skip to that because we've pretty much seen all of Looney Lana's tricks and uh, everything like that in this video so far. So let's roll that beautiful bean footage, shall we? 
Many, many minutes later. Hey. And what's your name? Uh, Kim. Kim? You have a last name, Kim? Yes, I do. And can I know it so I know who I'm talking to? Well, we're not allowed to give out our information because you are recording and this against the... Oh, they're recording the too. No, have you, where's your poster That's seven fine. at? This is your bird, what you need. So you are not permitted on the property because you are tra trespassing. So I'm trespassing? Yes. So if I don't leave, I'll be arrested? So you're trespassing. Yes. Okay, I'll leave for under threat of arrest. Well, I had to, Just one more thing. I'm trying to leave, so I'm not. I'm not refusing to leave. Listen to me. I need to get your information. So I, I don't have it on me. So can I leave the property or? I don't need my... your ID. I just need your information. Oh, they, they know who I am. Ma'am, I don't know who you are. Oh, well, you don't need to. I'm the crime. The, right now, I'm telling you to stop so I can do my job. So I'm being detained. I'm giving, yes, you're being detained. Okay, I'm what crime have I committed, sir? The crime of failure to obey right now. So what's the, well, how the am I not obeying? Ma'am? So the, 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 the crime happens if I stay. It's called trespass after warning. I'm not trespassing. I'm trying to leave. No, I need to get your information so we can do our paperwork. I can't. I don't have to help you with your investigation, sir. No, you don't. So you can either give me your information. I see you arrest or, me if I don't? Yes. Okay. That's exactly what I'm okay. telling you. Ready? I want you guys to watch Officer Quinn. Watch his hands. Watch his eyes for sure. Did he know he messed up? Let me know in the comments down below. Am I giving it to you or him? You can give it to me. No. Huh? You go, go ahead. You ready? Lana, L A N A. L A? N A. L A N A. Uh huh? Patrick, common spelling. Patrick. You ready? Nine, you ready? Nine, three, seven, eight. Arlington. Arlington? Mm hmm. Expressway. All right, You understand this is a constitutionally protected activity, right? Is that what I'm doing, freedom of press? So you're restricting my civil rights now. Are you ready for the next one? Jack Jacksonville? Jacksonville. No, it's between you. You don't have to enact a, an unlawful command, sir. That they, they unlawfully trespass me. You ready for the next one? Jacksonville. Okay. Florida. Okay. What else do you want? Three, two, 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 five. Oh, Lana. Deceptive as always. Whenever you type in that uh, particular address, here's what it comes up with. If the police officer only knew how much you lied to him at this point, yeah, you probably would have been charged with obstruction of justice. So I don't, I don't, I don't know. By, I don't know what the, I don't know what it by heart, sir. You're gonna arrest me because I don't know my social. I have it written if I down. I identify you, and you're not gonna comply. Then yes. Okay. I, I don't know it by heart. I don't have an ID on me, so I'm sorry. I don't know my driver's license I didn't and social security. License. You know, Lana, uh, I know you got to be lying once again uh, because, well, you got to have your social security number for all sorts of things that go on in this world, such as well getting a job you'll need to know your social security number because you might not have your social security card on you at all times so why not memorize it i've memorized mine and it's helped me out quite a bit in my life now uh the uh video just continues on for a few more minutes like this and lana continues to lie about everything and continues to uh, spread false information about poster seven to the officers and it doesn't even work the, the lame brain frauditor is still trespassed from this uh, post office congratulations looney lana you are a freaking moron. You decided to retaliate against this post office, and you got trespassed. So congratulations. Enjoy it. And speaking of uh, enjoying, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. This could be some groundbreaking stuff right here. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?